Last year, during the height of the pandemic, more than 7.2 million homeowners were in the mortgage forbearance program. This is a program that was passed under the previous administration to allow some borrowers to pause their mortgage payments. We have clearly seen our economy has recovered in what some say one of the fastest recoveries in history. Now, there are just 1.7 million borrowers enrolled in the forbearance program, which is great, but soon it'll be zero. This program was not intended to go on as long as it did, but now that the Biden-Harrison administration has officially said that there are no plans for another extension of this mortgage forbearance program, it is set to end on September 30th. Borrowers won't all get removed at once. Instead, they're gonna be phased out over a period of several months. Even so, Fortune has reported that once this would lapse, this would lead to a major shakeup for the housing market, which many have been waiting for. Now, in a nation with more than 80 million homeowners, 1.7 million may not sound like a lot until you consider there are just over 600,000 homes for sale right now on Realtor.com, which as you've heard me say for years, that is incredibly low. We are facing a 40 year low in housing inventory. There are simply have not been anywhere near the amount of homes available needed to supply the demand of qualified buyers. So even if a small percentage of these 1.7 million struggling borrowers opt to sell, rather than returning to their monthly payments, it could cause a shock in the housing market. However, a big however, that may or may not necessarily affect our market considering our unemployment is so low Jobs are available everywhere you turn, and the economy is thriving in terms of unemployment. Back in July, Fortune reached out to researchers at Home.LLC to forecast how the end of the forbearance would impact the market. This is something we've all been waiting for over a year to see, and they found that the end of the program is likely to see U.S. inventory, in other words, the amount of homes available for sale, rise by 11% later this year. Again, while it won't make a dent in the shifting of the housing market from a seller's market to a buyer's market, it would provide more opportunities for buyers that have been on the sidelines waiting for their opportunity to buy a home without having to be outbid each time by 15 to 30 other buyers on the same house. Even before mortgage forbearance ends, we have noticed the market already to start to cool. According to a Yahoo Finance article, after seeing housing inventory plummet over 50% between April 2020 to April 2021, it's moving up again. Inventory levels ticked up 8.8% in June and 10.4% in July. Over the past year, median prices are up 17.2%. Now, in the coming 12 months, CoreLogic foresees it slowing down a bit to just a 3.2% appreciation. Here's what I want to make sure everyone listening understands. The end of the forbearance is not going to sink the market or get prices to plummet. A market crash is not going to happen. I've said it many times, but I think it's worth repeating. Homes have equity. Mortgages are under stricter guidelines than ever, so only incredibly, incredibly qualified buyers are the ones purchasing and have the cash to pay out of pocket above market value. The borrowers that will need to sell due to the inability to pay their mortgage likely have lots of equity. They can sell their homes without going into a short sale or foreclosure situation, which means the prices are not going to be at an all-time low for these homes as they traditionally would be for a distressed home uh, owner selling. It's very different from what happened in the Great Recession of 2008 where millions of underwater borrowers with mortgage balances greater than their home's value were forced to sell and investors who had put 0% down and received subprime loans had nothing to lose so they easily gave up making payments. This is not the same. Because of years of underbuilding, which basically means a lack of new construction, to keep up with the demand, demand continues to outmatch supply. The silver lining for buyers is that we could see more inventory in the coming months. This is your September market news update. If you have any other questions, please always feel free to reach out to me at waypointrealty.com or you can call us at 407-801-9914.